kids ready for school today. We're coming down to the lunchbox issue and there's always like, what am I gonna put in their lunchboxes? We have partnered with RX Bars and they're incredibly amazing. We've partnered with them before and you guys might remember these cute little kids bars that they have and the kids absolutely love them. They come in three amazing flavors, Berry Blast, apple cinnamon raisin and chocolate chip. Whenever I'm feeding the kids stuff, I try to be mindful of what they're eating. I'm not always mindful, but these ones I especially love because it tells you right on the package, two egg whites, four almonds, five cashews, one date, and no bad stuff. And literally, if you turn it around and you look at the ingredients in the bar, that's about basically all you're gonna get. And so you don't have to wonder like what your kids are getting. So these are just like a healthier option for the kids. They're always like running off somewhere. You know, crew's always doing motocross. Right? And you get hungry in the middle of that. Yeah. Riley's always doing swim. Push it, Rye guy, push it so hard, dude, so hard. Go, 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 go! Always hungry. I swear, I cannot take a sack big enough of treats. There's been times where we've been out at the parks. We have taken them with us to have as a quick snack. Last time we were at Ryder's Swim Meet, we actually brought them along with us and ate them, and they were so good. And it just gives you like that little bit of like, okay, I'm back at it. Like I, my belly's a little bit full. I've got more energy. You know, it's great for the kids. Rexon, he is about to start soccer, and I think he's in a growth spurt because the other day he had two sandwiches for lunch. As I'm packing the kids' lunches today, I'm gonna put one of these in. So guys, I want to ask you. Which one's your favorite flavor? Um, chocolate chip. In my lunch, I want berry blast. Wait, no, I want berry blast right now and chocolate chip in my lunch. Oh, you want berry blast right now? Sweet. I'll take chocolate chip now, then chocolate chip later. Ooh, chocolate chip's your double favorite. Come on, did you say you wanted to do lunch? Chocolate chip. These are just super helpful. Anytime we're trying to fill a lunchbox, trying to give the kids a healthy snack. I know that there's been times where I've even had these because I love that I know exactly what I'm getting. I do love the kids ones, but if I'm feeling more of an adult flavor, they do have adult ones too. Coconut chocolate, peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter. And this is only just a few of them. They have tons of them. I love these. They're super filling too. They're a good go-to snack. Even Hazy likes them. Like I've caught her eating them so many times. So you guys are probably wondering like, where do I get this? You guys can go online to rxbar.com slash Bingham and use our code Bingham and you'll get 25% off your first order. Or you can get them at Target, but if you go to RX Bars, then you get the discount. So you might as well go to rxbar.com slash Bingham, use our code Bingham to get 25% off your first order. Give them a try and let us know what you guys think, whether it's for yourself or for your children. We'd love to know what you think because we really only partner with brands that we absolutely love and the ones that we believe in. Comment below, what's your favorite flavor? All right guys, it's been a fun and exciting day. A lot of driving. shot a ton of video today, a lot of cool stuff, just hitting some iconic places here on the East Coast. One of them being, of course, we are right now in the city of Philadelphia, right in front of, or the base of the Rocky Steps, the famous Rocky Steps. I'm not gonna run these, but I am heading up to the top. Let's go. All right, maybe I will run them. I don't know what Rocky was thinking. This is pretty easy. I didn't do the workout that he did leading up to this. And all anybody likes to do up here is hold the rocky pose at the top of these steps. I don't know of another actual physical structure that's taking on this kind of a life. Look at this. They're all doing, everybody's doing the rocky pose at the top of here. Yeah, What's this guy shot. doing? That guy's got like a... Check out these gorgeous cherry blossoms behind us, you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna head to DC where I hear the cherry blossoms are in full bloom, covered in pink beauty like this. Getting some sick aerial shots of the rocky steps here. That wasn't that hard of a jog. I did it and I'm incredibly out of shape. After we finish up getting some shots here of these rocky steps, we're gonna go to the venue where the event for our team is actually happening in a couple of weeks. That's why I'm gonna be back in this area here in a couple of weeks. And we're gonna get some more shots of the cityscape behind us back there. So we're gonna go head into Philadelphia and probably stay there tonight. Tomorrow I'm really excited. We're going to DC. As you guys know, that's where I grew up is in Washington, DC. So I'm excited to go back and check that out and get some fun footage of that area that I love so much. For those of you guys who are wondering, what is the Rocky Steps building? It's the Philadelphia Museum of Art, right? Yep. The Philadelphia Museum of Art. And here is the Liberty Bell, you guys. We came to Philadelphia, now don't crack it. <laughs> I just fixed it. I feel pretty liberated. <laughs> hey guys, okay. The kids have been at school all day. I've been working most of the day. And now, whose nails are we gonna do? Pink. We're gonna do Hazel's nails. You want them pink? Yeah. You guys, look at her poor owie on her head. Turn your head a little bit. Black and blue. Hazy doesn't feel 100% today, so we're gonna paint her nails to make her feel better. Uh -oh. Are we gonna do your nails? Yeah. Do you wanna show them what color? And that color is the one we're gonna paint Hazy's nails. Should we do them? That's the one she's been carrying around all day long, huh? And you've been so good to not open it. Okay. 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 Let's paint these nails. Okay. 
right here. Oh, this is such a beautiful color. It smells like paint that you would put on a wall. It smells silly, it doesn't smell like normal nail polish. Boy, those sure are cute. I love the color you chose. So pretty. Hazy, you did such a good job holding so still. Okay, now we gotta blow on him. What do you think of your beautiful nails? Good. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay, we have to let them dry now, okay? So we have to make sure we sit very still. You guys, she's so good at getting her nails done, but she's been getting her nails painted since she was like one week old. No, actually, I think I painted her toenails in the hospital. You want that one on your toes? Okay, let's do your toes. After we did her nails, she insisted on having her toes. So we just did her toesies. Do you love them? You look like a true princess now, Hazel. Can you give me a big giant smile? Cause I don't think Hazy's feeling too well. You can probably tell in her little face that she just doesn't feel 100% today. She just wants me to hold her all day long. I'll hold you. Now that her nails are painted, we just gave her a little bit of medicine. Maybe that will just help her to feel better. But you guys can just kind of tell she just doesn't seem quite herself, huh? So we're just gonna cuddle up and watch a show. I wanna tell you guys, thank you to everyone who's been so concerned about Hazy and Brexton. Brexton is feeling much better, his eyes are much better. Hazy's eyes already look so much better, but now I feel like she's battling a little bit of a cold. So I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for caring about our kids like you do. Like it amazes me, all of the well wishes that we receive. It just like overwhelms my heart. So thank you so much. Should we watch a show? What do you wanna watch? Me first. Sophia the first? Okay, let's sit down with your minky. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of a big one, huh? I'll turn a show on for you. Are you okay? She has chosen to watch Moana. So Hazy's gonna watch a show. The boys, what are you guys doing over here? They are restocking their rainbow looms. Uh, it's really too bad we're on a shortage of rainbow looms in our house. <laughs> they are just restocking everything, you guys. They and are the most. There's a challenge that um, whoever is the best um, organized at the end of the day, they get the rainbow loom. Ooh, and you guys, I think we're gonna teach Savannah how to make rainbow looms coming up here soon. Yes! All right, you guys, we are checked into our hotel room for the night. We're staying in downtown Philadelphia. We had a fun driving around getting some more epic shots of the area down here. I'm driving here! such a fun, rad city feel. I love the East Coast, I love the vibe here. But guys, I went through and saw the footage of Crew getting his first real dirt bike. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is insane. I can't believe it. We can't thank Edge Power Sports enough for hooking this whole thing up. And to see how well he performed on it, blew my mind, brought a tear to my eye, made my heart swell with pride. You've gotta check this out. Crew seeing his bike for the very first time. The right number. <laughs> yeah, go check He's having out. him check to make sure it's the right number. Oh my gosh, it has your name on it! Crew! What do you think of this? Do you love it? What do you say? Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crew chose number 12. You guys will all notice here. We got this is how we bing them everywhere on it. Of course, Edge Power Sports. Crew, this is insane! Holy cow. What do you think, bud? <laughs> Wait, what's this button again? That's a turbo. Whoa! Just that just turns it <laughs> this is so awesome. Crew number 12. Oh my gosh, this is like legit crew. You look like a stud. Holy cow, this thing is beautiful. My other, yeah, um... Yeah, it's a good bike. So this is a 2018 Husqvarna. Whoa! And it's a, what they call a TC50. So it's fully automatic, no clutch. It's gonna be just like the electric bike, other than it's gonna make some noise. It's gonna idle. And then when you give it gas, it's gonna take off just like the electric. It'll feel a little bit different. You're gonna feel it vibrating where you didn't feel the electric too much. You know how they used to kick a horse to make it go fast? It's kind of the same thing. Whoa, bud! Oh my gosh! I think he's a little nervous, a little nervous of the sound. Kirby's out there, he's been taking some laps. He had a small little spill out there. He is able to just get right back up again. He has done incredible. Bryson just helped him up. Bryson's been so awesome. Teaching him and guiding him and telling him everything he needs to do. Okay, here comes Kirby. Here he comes. They're timing crew 
to see how fast he can go. See if he's improved on his time. He's now learned to stand up and to take the corners faster and put his foot down. He's doing incredible. The camera's probably shaking because my hands are freezing. Way to go, Krabby! We are just leaving here. It is 39 degrees. Cannot feel my fingers. You guys, crew did incredible. We timed him, and you guys, he got down, <laughs> he's dabbing, to 46 <laughs> seconds. He did incredible. Yeah. We are so proud of him. It was super fun for how cold it was. It was amazing. And you guys, huge shout out to Edge Power Sports because the bike that they just showed up with, brand new, 2018, 50 Husqvarna. Uh, it's amazing. And a huge shout out to at Bryson Green 5. If you guys aren't following him on Instagram, go do it because he's a stud and just sits here and helps crew. He did amazing. So you guys, Bryson is what is helping crew get where he needs to be. Guys, how unbelievable was that? That bike is incredible. Crew was incredible. His speeds were incredible. That's 10 seconds off his best time on the electric bike. I couldn't believe it when Mindy told me. What an incredible time. What an awesome thing for him to be able to do. Guys, I'm gonna get editing this vlog and get ready for the last day here on the East Coast tomorrow in DC. Don't miss it, gonna be a lot of fun. Heading home in a lot of ways, which I could go home. That'd be fun to go hit my old house, but we don't have time for that. Got a lot to do tomorrow. And then I'm finally going back to my home home to be with the family again. Miss them so much. Can't wait to be home with them. It's gonna be late tomorrow night, but at least it is tomorrow night. I love you guys. I'm gonna sign off from here on the East Coast in Philadelphia and send it back to mom. We are missing Dad like crazy. It's hard whenever he's not here. Um, it's hard to like do everything by myself. I can't really let myself think of it because it really makes me cry because I miss having him home. We miss him like crazy, but I think it's just difficult to like emotionally do everything myself. This is the first of three trips he's taking. Everyone be patient with us. We are trying super hard to please his company, Vivint Solar. He works for a great company. He's super lucky. Please the family, please our vlog, please our YouTube family. We love you guys. So we do this for you, we love you. We love documenting our life and sharing it with you guys. So these boys are gonna continue making rainbow looms. We're gonna sign off for today so dad has time to edit. He's incredible, he's a hard worker. We love him like crazy. You guys miss dad? Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. What I'm, that's why I'm sending him a bracelet. Oh, you're gonna send it to him? Are we gonna mail it to him? Yeah. Hey, that would, that would be kind of funny. Yes, we should do that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't, click that button. Subscribe. We do awesome stuff every day. So for now, we're gonna have to go because we're making rainbow loom and mom has more clients. So bye. See you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.